today, I'm going to tell the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky, way above the clouds, it's been said that there's a haven where stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the... Who stuck that weird fiend into this story? <laughs> yeah, I did! <laughs> so I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario, I'll take this star rod! Do it, Kami Koopa! Oh, I gotta work on my Bowser voice. No, you mustn't do that! Yeah, now let's try using it! Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! You know it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> that was a piece of cake! <laughs> Now Star Kids may rise to the Haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? Hello Internet, I'm Colorful Arnie, and welcome to my second favorite game of all time, Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. This game is just so good, but I'll get gushing more into it once we actually start the story. So, we got four files, they're all taken, because my whole family likes this game, so... We'll delete my previous folder. Also, I'm just gonna point out, this game has absolutely phenomenal music. And I love the whistling in this area. Alright, let's start! Let's just get right into it. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. It's been a while since I've played this. Mail call! We'll be seeing him again. And it's Ouija! Okay, I can barely hear this at all. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. It's probably a love letter, since she's your girlfriend and everything. I'll read it out loud to you, okay? It's a Really, bro? What if that's an embarrassing love letter? I don't want you reading that. Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you soon. Sincerely, Princess Toadstool. Peach! Nah, just kidding. I like Paper Mario's, uh, characterization of Peach much better than the re regular games. And I'm not doing anything, this is all automated. This game is just so well done. Please, make another Paper Mario game like this. None of this sticker and color star, uh, <laughs> sticker star and color splash. Give us a real Paper Mario game. What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Say Mario, why don't you go see Princess Peach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'll mingle for now. If you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it. So... Wow! I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place! I'll bet you can hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Ugh, oh, my toad voice needs work. <clears throat> Mario! <clears throat> no, I'm not even going to try anymore. Mario, you're doing well. Please enjoy the party, okay? 
Toad with a Spear. Welcome to Peach's Castle! Hey! Er, Mario! I hope you brought an appetite, there's so much good food here! I already ate way too much, I'm taking a little breather. Well, that's enough of a rest, I'm hungry again. Let's eat! To the buffet table! I'm there. Also, a lot of people think Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is better than Paper Mario 1. I'll just say this, can you do this in Thousand Year Door? The answer is no. Thousand Year Door is still an amazing game though. Oh, salutations, Mario! Do you know Frost T here? He's come all the way from the Shiver region, which lies far to the north of here. Thank you, Toadsworth, before Toadsworth was a thing. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please visit us in the Shiver region someday. I will, much later. Yeah, spinning helps you go faster. It doesn't seem to open. Aw, Peach locked some of the doors. I hope my voice isn't too echoey. This is the only room I can record N64 in, and it's echoey. Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm Tasty. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. I made all my most delicious dishes. But, oh dear, I got so into my cooking that I used up all my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping. More like you used up all of Peach's ingredients. I've been practicing cooking. I hope that someday I get good enough to cook food as delicious as Tasty's. You know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn. Personally, I think cooking is exceptionally fun. It really is, and you can get some great items by cooking in this. But we'll get to that later on. So the beginning of this game is just a lot of talking to people, but honestly, it picks up really quickly. Oh, whoops. Hey, female toads. Oh, welcome, Mario! The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Yeah, I'll get there eventually. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. Hee <laughs> hee, how cute. Oh man, yeah, just just keep rubbing in the fact that Colorful Artie doesn't have a girlfriend right now. <laughs> doesn't seem to go for Peach, you need to stop locking all her doors. I mean, Mario's here, you know? Penguin! Wow, this castle's absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Princess Peach's castle forever. Yeah, sorry. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. Alright. Her private chambers, huh? I probably shouldn't disturb her. Oh, no, this is Toadsworth before Toadsworth. Greetings, Master Mario. I'm the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Hello, Mario. I'm always on the cutting edge of fashion, and I must say, your outfit is just fabulous. It really suits you. I'm here on behalf of lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frost Tea. I come from Koopa Village, which is just down the road from here. Oh, I just had the honor of talking to Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is. She is. I really like her in the Paper Mario games. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in here at the moment. Are you saying you would have let me in if she wasn't there? Because that's a little weird. Doesn't seem to open. Doesn't seem to open. Well, today we have guests from Dry Dry Outpost, the Shiver Region, Koopa Village. There are so many folks here, I can't keep track of them all. And where might you be from? Oh, you're Mario? Uh I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I come from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous, so cool and comfortable. I haven't got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. She's my girlfriend, pal. What an honor. When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. I love how like that's a toad who's in like a turban. It's awesome. I'm a nomad mouse, and I come from Dry Dry Desert. Everyone I've met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. You do that, traveling nomad mouse. Oh, if memory serves, Luigi says something else after you talk to him once. Say Mario! Oh, no, never mind. Darn it. Does Princess Peach have a special man in her life? She's such a lovely lady. Whoever she loves must be very special indeed. 
Dude, I'm right here. Come on. Come on! This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in at the moment. Let me in. Huh? Oh no, absolutely not! I don't think it's very polite to go into her room without asking her first, Mario. I said no, and that means no! You are simply not allowed to go in there! I said no, and that means no, you are simply not allowed to go in there. Please... Boy, you're persistent! I guess I have no choice. Hurry up in there, though, and don't touch anything. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sayanella, for pointing this out in your playthrough. <laughs> I never knew you could go in here as Mario. Doesn't seem to open. Quite a fluffy bed. It looks like this bed was designed for sweet dreams. A vase full of lovely flowers. They smell heavenly. I'm a boy, I don't care about stuff like that. A framed photo of Mario! Mario just got plus five confidence points. These are cosmetics. Mario looks fine without them. <laughs> yes, he does. Her dresses are beautiful, but they all look the same. This must be her favorite style of dress. Yeah, pink. Fireplace? What a big fireplace, and what a cozy fire. I did not touch anything. I definitely did not touch her flower vase. How was it? To tell you the truth, I've never seen the inside of her room. You're guarded! You haven't even snuck a peek before? Alright, I'm sure you guys are all like, Come on, when is Artie gonna start playing the game? I, I'm just a trainee, sir. So many guests. My heart's been beating like a bass drum ever since this morning. Fump, 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 fump. Like I've said, very boring right now, but it will pick up very quickly. It's nice and quiet here with no guests around. Ah, so pleasant. Maybe I'll just put in an annotation, like, click here to get to the action of the game. Princess Peach just went into her private chambers just now. Yep. I thought her room was her private chambers. Preach! Preach! Peach! I'm so happy to see you, I'm spinning with delight. Hi, Mario! You came to the party to see me? You're so sweet! Thank you! You sent me and Luigi an invitation, which he read out loud, by the way. So be careful what you put in your letters to me, because Luigi will read them out loud if he answers the mail. I was just resting a bit. It gets tired greeting all those guests out there. I agree. As an introvert, I, some people will drain you very fast. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Yeah... It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? There's nothing out there. Oh, oh, the balcony. Oh, that's not through that window. And now, things are finally getting exciting. I love the collapsing trees, and... How in the world Bowser built his castle right underneath Peaches? I don't know. I have no idea how they uh, didn't notice that. I also don't know how those fins can swing back and forth when they were underground. And Mario's trying to carry up everything. Okay. Bowser, like, you're an awesome villain, but please stop putting clown faces on everything. Didn't you learn your lesson from Mario World? Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? She jumped. Oh my! Look, Mario! It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see the stars outside! Awesome entrance! Awesome music! <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach! Bowser! But this can't be! It was you who made the ground shaking just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Yeah, that was me! I've lifted your castle up into the sky! It's sitting on my castle now! Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! This castle's under my control now, my dear! Now you will obey me! Uh, Mario's here. Huh? What? It's... Mario? What a shock! Ha! Not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario, because he's the video game protagonist, and you're the antagonist. Why don't you give up already? True, true, I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time, I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy, let's go! Also, this is some of my favorite music in the game right here. Mario, you can do it! Actually, I physically cannot. Only one thing we can do is that's jump. Hmm. 
so you can kind of see how the combat system's working. You each take turns, you each have HP, FP we'll get into later. We'll get much more options to fight uh, later on in the game. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Check it out. This is an item from Super Smash Bros. You can fling stars at people, and it's really annoying. Hey, yeah, look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. And now, he's Rainbow. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? You haven't even done anything yet. Ooh, now he deals two more damage. When you're at five HP or less, you're in danger. <laughs> Is that all you've got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Bowser's hilarious in this. Yep, just as I expected, Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Good luck surviving that. I like the animation they did on Peach there. No, no, Mario! Get up! Yes! Oh yeah! I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness! That's why you're the king! As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true! No one can stop me, man, now! Well, 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 I guess you might, might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good for anyone now, that's for sure. My first wish, I wish for you to make me a prince. And by that I mean I wish for you to give me a lot of stuff and broadcast my name throughout the streets of Agrabah. Oh no, Mario! Wow, how did those trolls get in- uh, the Koopa Trolls get in there so quickly? They came from the balcony, but there was no one up there earlier. And Mario Fountains falls like 8,000 miles and is completely unharmed when he lands. Then again, he is paper, so it makes sense. Paper Mario! Such a good game! Prologue, a plea from the stars. Also, if you wait on this menu screen for a bit... Okay, what was the last Mario game to actually use this on the levels? Because off the top of my head, I want to say it's like... Super Smash Bros. Melee. Because now it's all the new Super Mario Bros. themes, which are alright, but they, they don't hold the candle to this one. Mario fell in a jungle somewhere. Where the floor is checked. And hey, it's all the hosts for Mario Party 5. Actually, they're the Star Spirits, and they originated in this. Apparently, they like spinning, too. Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the Star Rod, and now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power through the cards you're residing in. Whew. That's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Actually, Mario's totally fine. He's just lazy. Okay, I always thought that was hair on her head, but it's actually a giant bow. 
really sounded like something fell around here. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up! Come on, up and at him! Oh no, he won't wake up! <coughs> oh no, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goompa! Goombario! Apparently their family's a fan of the EO name as well. See, I told you Mario was just sleeping. Look at that pose. Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, the plot won't allow me to tell you here. Mario, I need you to come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. I feel like that was a significantly different voice than I gave him earlier. Welcome to the land of awesome music. Then again, just about every land in this could be called that, so... Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days! Everyone's been worried sick! What? Was Mario in, like, a coma? Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense, since he got, like, beaten up significantly by Bowser, then got zapped by lightning, and then fell, like, 8,000 miles through outer space, so... Yeah, I guess that's justified. This place? This is Goomba Village! It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. And by tiny, we mean the only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. So it's not really a village, it's more like... I don't know. The Goombas in this family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that, and I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? Although, maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Oh yeah. Hey dude, love the hat. Hey Mario, I'm Goombario, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> you don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Mario, I know all about your adventures around the world. You've been everywhere, and you always get the best of the bad guys. Every time. You're the coolest, I want to be just like you. My parents named me after you because I love you so much, I'm gonna follow you around. Actually, not really. Oh, land sakes, Mario, so nice to meet you. My. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. You should know that my son, Kumbario, is a big fan of yours. Yeah, I just met him. He was stalking me. It was a little weird. All he does is the lifelong day is... <laughs> All he does the lifelong day is train and tell people how he wants to be great like you. I tell him, Kumbario, it's all well and good to train, but don't go getting into danger. Oh, well, uh... He will be getting into danger later on. Spoiler alert. Ooh, free money. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. Oh, that's very kind of you. You what? You have to leave right now? Oh, Shooting Star Summit? Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot! I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Alright, I trust you. Mario, you look better! I'm so glad! I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes at all the whole time. Thank you, Miss Ramon Sentence. I was the one who found you, you know, Mario. Me, Goombaria. I was in the forest and I found you and I called Daddy and Goomba and Goombario. And then they came and got you and I'm glad you're better. I don't remember her talking that much. 
Hello, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I am a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. Ho, 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 ho. Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goomberia. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. Ho, ho, ho. She's just more red, of course. You're quite a looker, aren't you? Why, if I were just ten years younger and single, of course... Ugh! Uh, no, please no. No, 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 no. I don't date outside my own species. Oh, you startled me. Hmm, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good, knew you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so... I'm Goompa. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Jeez, what is with the men in this house fixing everything? First the gate, then the veranda. Why isn't Goombario getting in on the action? Oh, Mario, uh, my dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. Wow, like in a minute. That was fa that was fast. So I guess you can travel east to Toad Town and Shooting Star Summit, huh? Wanna come with me? Whew, what a job! Sorry to have kept you waiting, the gate is finally finished. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay, I feel like I just met you! You did! But, duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario! Hee! <laughs> I don't know what voice to give Cammy Koopa. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, all right? I was smart to come here and check on you. Well, what? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird? You rude little... I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Tammy Koopa. Hmm, <laughs> I wish I had the time to teach you a lesson, Brad, but no. Mario, hear this. It's useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous. Laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is far more powerful. Oh. He's far more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Oh, King Koopa, you're so devastating. You can make giant blocks. <laughs> I love the expressions on the Goomba's face. <laughs> Mario, you'll kneel and weep when you see this wonderful changes Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good Cammy Koopa. <laughs> um, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Gate, 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 gate! Koopa, that fiend! Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. They didn't get the invite. Whoa, whoa, what? Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach? AGAIN?! <laughs> oh, unbelievable! And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Yeah, clearly Luigi's not gonna get anything done. Luigi's competent. Um... Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goompa's big hammer. I think he's using it right now to fix the veranda. Go ask for it, will you? Well... Yeah, we're not saving and quitting just yet. We've barely even done anything besides talk to people. Uh, that's not normal. <laughs> Thank goodness Mario's paper. Which, for reasons that are never explained. But I don't care. Where are we? What is this witchcraft? Oh, my back! Hmm, who's that? That's you, Mario. I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door into thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't go home because that block is in the way. Some weird creature called Kami Cooper dropped it here two seconds ago. This block, well, this block shouldn't be here. Well, it's a problem for us. Again, think I'm giving him a different voice every time. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Uh, where did it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Huh, nowhere to be seen. I guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we'd best go look for it. And now he'll follow me around everywhere. For a time. 
The hammer's got to be somewhere close by. Looks just like this. I know that doesn't make much sense, I believe you can't read the text box above me, but j just trust me. Look for the bushes that might cover it up. If the exclamation point symbol appears over your head, you can press A to search. Ooh, free money. I love me some free money. Free money, free money, free money, free money. I love free money. And now you found the hammer. Mario can do the hammer attack now. You should smash some yellow blocks with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that you can use that hammer. You can break the block that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. And trust me, the hammer is amazing. One coin. Not bad, but not great. Yep, so now... Make sure you hit just about everything with the hammer. That's it? Oh, come on. <laughs> You've got the dolly! An adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. That's kinda weird. Hopefully it's not a voodoo doll. Oh, uh, well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know. It almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. Side quest. Hmm, well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. And now we meet one of my favorite characters in the game. Youch! Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots! Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody! Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa! He's basically Bowser Jr., but cooler. Mario, this is Junior Troopa. He's the boss of the neighborhood game, but we never actually see the rest of the game. A bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily, especially since you have that hammer that I gave you. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. So, yeah, Junior Troopa essentially just beat up an old grandpa. Yeah, he's a delinquent. So now, we actually get to choose what we can do. We can jump, we can hammer, and then there's also strategies. So right now, all we have is do nothing and run away, but we can't run away from this battle. What we're gonna do is... I'll well, start by jumping, I guess. Oh, excellent! Good move! Go on! Look, I, I know how to beat this guy, okay? Now we can use hammer. But it deals the same amount of damage, so it doesn't really matter. I do really like Junior Troopa, though. I wish he was outside this game in more games. Grr, I'm just getting warmed up. So am I. Mario, you've almost got him. Keep it up. Go on. Alright, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Troopa's special attack. FULL POWER! Now I deal an extra one damage. Take this. Mario, that was wonderful fighting! You got star points! You get star points every time you beat an enemy, unless you're a really high level. Every time you save up 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Always try hard to get points. Oh, I love that jingle! Shoot! I was winning too! You were not. I'll be back, Mario. I mean it. I'll be back! Yeah, he will. Well, I think that's a good place to end it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, hit this block to save your game progress.
When the game is over, your status will return to what it was the last time you saved, so, and you can continue to play. It sure was nice of Bowser to throw these save blocks all around the kingdom for my benefit. When you find this block along the way, remember to hit it to save. Yes, I want to save. Yeah, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series because I know I'm going to enjoy it a lot. Thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next episode. We're going to return to Goomba Village. Have a great day, and God bless.